Hey, aloha, I'm Mark J. coming to you from another part of our backyard here in beautiful Kauai, Hawaii. How do we get here? By using the previous six insights and this particular insight to make our decision, not only to start a business, but who to start it with and how to do it. And fundamentally, this should help you relax a little bit. Starting anything new can be a little stressful. We have fear around it, we have hope around it, but let's face it, it's a little stressful. And when I discovered Insight 7, I totally relaxed and built a huge business and was able to manifest the dreams that we wanted. So what's this big Insight 7? It's simply this. Most people do network marketing every day, they just don't get paid for it. You're probably wondering, what do you mean? Well, think about when your first children were born. Did you look for a pediatrician in the phone book? Or did somebody recommend it to you? What about an accountant? What about an attorney? The point is, these big decisions in life, we don't look in the phone book, we take the recommendation of a friend. Now, why is that? Well, part of the human experience for all of us is we love to tell people about things we like or enjoy. And most of all, we love to tell people about things that we like and enjoy and that might benefit them. It's part of the human experience. And we've all had the experience where somebody says, gee, that mechanic you sent to me was great. He fixed the car, it was reasonable. Or that Italian restaurant, man, I went there, forget about it. The scampi was incredible. Now, what's a good example of doing network marketing and not getting paid for it? Well, certainly you've probably had this experience. You're driving to the theater and you turn to your husband or your wife and you say, there's no way I'm paying four bucks for a Coke in a paper cup. And you're determined not to do that. As soon as you walk into the theater, the smell of the popcorn yanks you over to the counter and there you're buying this huge value pack that costs more than the ticket itself because you had to buy a ticket to get in. Now you're spending eight bucks for popcorn and four bucks for a soda. You got to need a dolly to get them into the theater. And once you get in there, the digital uh, pictures today and the surround sound is so amazing. You don't feel like you're watching a movie. You feel like you're in it. So Monday at work, three or four people are sitting around with you and they say, what'd you do this weekend? Oh, I went to see the movies and I saw Titanic. It was incredible. You'll love it. Salon Dion sings really high and everybody drowns at the end. Now, some of the people that you share that with never go to the movies and they say, glad you had a good weekend. Some of them, well, they don't go very often but they say, oh, that sounds pretty good, and they go as a result of your referral. That's a direct referral. You recommended something that you liked and enjoyed. And the third type, which would be like myself and my beautiful wife, the fabulous Davine, we go to the movies every other week. It's part of a, our ritual, so we go because you told us. And of course, we have to buy a ticket. The popcorn yanks us over to the counter, and at the end of the month, what happens? The movie manager sees all these ticket sales that were as a result of a direct referral you made, and all the goodies that were sold as a result of your referrals and all the indirect referrals. In other words, if Dave and I told somebody else about it, you told us, we went, we liked it, and we told somebody else, that's an indirect referral. That's all network marketing is. As a matter of fact, if you have children, your children, when they come home from school, what do they tell you? They tell you about a new pizza place or a new baseball club or a new game for their Xbox or Icebox or whatever it's called, right? and sometimes that creates a transaction. The question is, where did they get that information? Got that information from where? From their friends at school who liked or enjoyed the experience. So guess what? Guess who else has been doing network marketing since they've been six years old? That's right, you have. I realized my whole life I had been exchanging information with friends and guess what they did? They did the same thing with me, and sometimes we bought the stuff and sometimes we didn't. That's the difference. Now I got good news and bad news. All those restaurants, doctors, lawyers, books, and movies you recommend, guess what? They're never going to send you a check, but the company that you're currently looking at, they're going to send you a check for doing something that what? You've been doing your whole life anyway. So just relax. So if you put these seven insights into play, you'll make a great decision for you and your family. I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, well, if I do all those things, is there a chance I might fail? And there is. And here's why. Most people fail because they don't know how to market themselves. But guess what? 
This system that you're in represents a group of elite marketers who drive tons of traffic and they find people that are interested in the business, just like you. As a matter of fact, that's probably how we found you. So when they call and you interview them, ask them about this system because two, three, four, five people a day will show up in your inbox that want more information just like you do. So don't worry about the marketing. That's the biggest reason people fail that exercise those seven insights. We've got you back there. Ask the person that contacts you about it. Put these seven uh, insights in play and you'll be able to make the best decision for yourself, your family, and be walking the beaches of the world. Peace be the journey and we'll see you here.